Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Meta has released Llama Force 2 variants, Scout and Maverick. I already have shown you in the previous video what exactly these models are and we also did a thorough testing on all of the modalities supported by these models, especially the Maverick one. In this video, we are going to install the Scout model locally, the first one here, which is a mixture of expert model that comes with a lot of goodies. It has 17 billion active parameters, 16 experts and 109 billion total parameters. And its context window has been scaled to 10 million, which means that it can handle 10 million tokens at one point in time, which is insane. A lot of benchmarking information is also available. I have uh, done some uh, video content on it, but I will be discussing it in separate video because that is sort of a long haul thing. And I don't really want to uh, bore you with these theoretical stuff in this hands on video. So let's get this Llama 4 Scout installed on our local system and we will see how it works. I also want to thank Mass Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU and VM on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. So this is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM. Hopefully this model will fit onto it. So I'm just going to create the virtual environment with Conda. And now let me install all the prerequisites which have torch and transformers. Also, if you are following along, make sure that you go to Hugging Face page of this model, which I will drop in video's description. Click on it and make sure that you are logged in with your Hugging Face email ID, which is a free account and then accept the term and condition because it is a get it model. So I already have done it and I got the access within, uh, I guess, 20 minutes. And while it installs all the prerequisites, let's also thank our sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And now we need to log into Hugging Face so that we could download the model. And for that, I would need the read token from Hugging Face profile. You can also grab it from huggingface.co it's a free token and then you can see that i am now logged in successfully let me launch my jupyter notebook and then we will play around with this model after downloading it and there you go so let me now download this scout model and the model is being downloaded as you can see here let me scroll down there you go let's wait for it and the model is downloaded as you can see all the 50 shards let's quickly check the vram consumption so it is consuming just over 67 gig of vram hmm. not bad for a mixture of expert model of this size okay let's try out the inference so first let's check with these two images so there are two urls first one is this image of rabbit and the other one is this one and we are asking it, can you describe how these two images are similar and how they differ? We are simply using that processor to apply the chat template, tokenizer is encoding the input and we model is generating the output and then we are decoding it and printing it out. So let me run this. And there you go, look at the response. So it is talking about the similarities around anthro anthropomorphic characters and both uh, images show animals, a rabbit and a cat depicted with human features which is correct expressions clothing and all that stuff let me show you again and then it is talking about differences that different animal species the first image shows a rabbit the other one is cat and then it is talking about posture and expression very impressive friendly and confident expression rabbit is vertical portrait showcasing a broader view of the rural landscape and then it is also even talking about surrounding details so again if you have watched my this video in a typical way it has given us a concise yet very very uh, nuanced answer okay let's check it out on multilingual ocr
now for the OCR I have these images on my local system with various languages like I have this Arabic German and then I have this handwritten Hindi Indonesian then there's a multi where I have multiple languages Persian Portuguese Spanish Swahili and Vietnamese so a couple of languages are not in its um, published supported languages but still we will try it out so let me take you back to the notebook so in this code you can see that i have specified this local folder and then i am just looping through that folder and extracting the image setting my template and then more model is generating the output so let me run this and there you go it has taken a bit of a time but you can see that it has identified all the languages so arabic is there um, this is a handwritten one so let me quickly show you the handwritten one again so this is a handwritten one which it has done as you can see i'll just put it here looks quite good so it was able to identify which was the cut ones and has skipped them and this is the german one i sorry i know it's not that big but there you go so this is a german this is a handwritten this is a hindi english and all those languages which i was showing you earlier and this is a vietnamese and if i go through this and compare this is spot on due to the fonts not installed on my vm there is some uh, issues with persian but i think still you can see it it has done wonderfully well in terms of ocr even the swahili which was not in its published languages it has done quite well spanish portuguese european languages amazing and even vietnamese pretty good so look ocr is also awesome and if you want to use text modality where you just want to input text and then get the output as a text you can use these commands so let me run this where it is asking what is the smallest country in the world and it has returned the response so if you look at the response the response is really very elegant so it has started with um, the smallest country in the vatican city so the answer is of course correct but then it is given us the answer in a very concise way describing the area and some of the key facts about vatican city and then also some sort of an um, ending which is quite uh, i would say targeted so real real quality from llama 4 now as the purpose of this video was to show you how to get it installed locally both for images and uh, text and video one will be soon because still um, the commands for that are not out by llama so as soon as they are out uh, i will try to make another video on the video modality and i will also keep trying to see if i could try out with the usual stuff now if you are after the thorough testing of this model just watch this first video and i will also drop the link in video's description or in first comment where we have done a thorough testing on all modalities including text images and video so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it stay tuned i will be doing more videos on this llama 4 from various angles and we will also be covering it for drag and other use cases let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching